We're looking at 7.1.10. In this question, uh, part A, single value, so that means n is 1. But now this is different because we're between, we're greater than 17 and less than 18.6. So what I'm going to do is break this into two probabilities. So one of them is probability x is uh, greater than 17. The other one's the probability, let's do it on different lines. All right, but what we're going to do instead, we can compute this number right here. Um, and if we do it, we're going to get a number that's too big. Uh, because if I just compute this, it's going to get x less than 18.6, but not stopping at 17. It's going to go all the way down to as small as x can get. And so what I'm going to do in this top one, I'm going to do something a little bit weird. Get x less than 17. And we're going to get the probability of x being less than 17 and then also being less than 18.6. And we're going to subtract these two. So I'm going to remove this probability here. I'm going to take it away. And that will get rid of the probability of x less than 17. And that will give us the probability of it being between these two. So this is normal distribution. Oops. Hit the tab key, not the enter key. So norm.dist. All right, we have everything we need here. Our x value, this is the 17. Uh, mu, the average, 19.3. Standard deviation, that's the sigma or the s, 8.4. Uh, divided by square root of 1. And true. The reason I went to a second line is because I'm zoomed in so far here. It just hit the edge of the screen. All right, so here we have everything we need. I'm going to copy, paste. And instead of 17, now I want 18.6. So it'll be a much higher probability. So this probability, 46%. That's the chance uh, my mean is less than 18.6. But I want to remove all the probability where it's too small, which is less than 17. So I'm just going to subtract these two. So that minus that. Enter. There we go. And we'll go ahead, shrink that down. Four decimals. Submit that. Okay. Part B, everything's the same except n is no longer 1, it's 101. So I'm going to grab these, copy. Let's paste them right here. Let's slide this over a little bit. Now I just have to replace this 1 with 101. And I need to also do it on the other computation. And so that 1982 is part B.